Okay, let's do question 32 in topic set 7. This is actually a pretty long question, but it's all related to quantum numbers and the rules that govern quantum mechanics. Remember that in quantum mechanics, only specific solutions are allowed because of the wave nature of the electron in this case. So we restrict the values of the energy of the electron and a lot of other things as well, like angular momentum and so on. So this question is asking us to consider a different set of quantum mechanical rules in in a different universe and it says here that in this particular universe there's also four quantum numbers as we have in our universe called p q r and s and they have the following rules that p can only be one of these numbers q has to be positive odd integers and has to be less than or equal to p r has to be an even integer and it goes from negative q to positive q with zero being considered an even value and then s has to be plus or minus one half so the first question is sketch out what the first four periods of the periodic table would look like in this universe if we're using that particular set of rules. And what we're going to do is just fill out what the first four possible values of the quantum numbers. So P can have value of 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we can start with 1 for P here. And then if P is equal to 1, Q must be a positive odd integers that's less than or equal to P. So the only answer is 1. And then R has to go from negative q to positive q but it can only take the even value with zero being considered an even number so then r must be zero and then s is always plus one half or negative one half so we have two values of s in this case so that'll be the first one and then when p is equal to two q has to be positive odd integer uh, has to be less than p so again the only possible value here is one and then if q is one r automatically is zero and again plus one half and negative one half when p is equal to 3, then Q, which has to be less than P, but can be odd and can be equal to P, has two possibilities. It's either 1 or it's 3, right? So if it's 1, then the R is going to be 0 with, again, plus 1 half, negative 1 half. And then if it's 3, the R can be all integer value from negative 3 to plus 3, taking only the even number that would give us negative 2. 0 is considered even and then plus um, 2, taking only the even number so it's going to be negative 2 0 is considered even and then plus 2 and then for each one of this I have plus 1 half and negative 1 half for the s value and lastly for p equals 4 again my q has to be odd number that's less than p or equal to it so again either 1 or 3 would be possibilities and so we already know what the options for the rest of these would be plus 1 half negative 1 half this one would be negative 2 0 and plus plus two, and again, plus one half minus one half for each value of R. So that's the table that we generate for the four quantum numbers. The first period in the periodic table for this quantum number would then have two different elements. The second one would also have two elements because remember, how do I know that it's two elements? Because remember that each element must have a unique set of quantum numbers. So the first element would be one, one, zero, plus one half. The other one would be one, one, zero, minus one half. That's why there's two elements. And then same thing with that second one. This one right here is going to have a total of eight different elements. And then period four will also be eight different elements. So what is it going to look like? Where the first period is going to have two elements. The second period is also going to have two elements. The third period is going to have eight elements. And then the same with the next one. So that would be a sketch of the rows or the periods in this universe's periodic table. We have two more questions related to that. And one is how many electrons can have p equals 4 and q equals 3 okay and that's a subset of this lowest part 4 and 3 here and for 3 we can have all of these guys being possible electrons so then the answer to that one would be 6 possible electron and then the last question says how many electrons can have p equals 3 q0 and r0 so p equals 3 q equals 0 r equals 0 well there's no q equals 0 right here q can q must be a positive odd integer since there isn't one then the answer is 0 electron